serum acetes, albumin gradient, also known as SAG. What is SAG? The SAG is a diagnostic tool for the evaluation of acetes. It helps to determine the cause of acetes. Formula of SAG. To calculate SAG, we subtract acetes fluid albumin levels from serum albumin levels. Important to note, while calculating SAG, for the correct interpretation of SAG, the two values should be measured at the same time. In layman terms, that are not entirely accurate. High SAG involves liver as the cause. Low SAG means that liver is not the cause. How to interpret SAG? A high gradient of more than 1.1 gram per deciliter indicates the acids is due to portal hypertension, either liver related or non liver related. This suggests a non peritoneal cause of acetes. A low gradient of less than 1.1 gram per deciliter indicates that acetes is not associated with increased portal pressure. This suggests a peritoneal cause of acetes. What is the principle behind SAG? Starling forces is the principle behind SAG. This principle describes the movement of fluids between the vasculature and interstitial spaces. Under normal circumstances, serum oncotic pressure, that is pulling fluid back into circulation, is exactly balanced by the serum hydrostatic pressure, which pushes fluid out of the circulatory system. Why is SAG high in case of portal hypertension? This balance is disturbed in case of portal hypertension, that increases the hydrostatic pressure in the circulatory system. The increase in hydrostatic pressure, causes more fluid to leave the circulation into the peritoneal space, thus forming ascites. The SAG subsequently, increases because there is more free fluid leaving the circulation, concentrating the serum albumin. The albumin does not move across membranes easily, because it is a large molecule. Differential diagnosis of SAG. If SAG is less than 1.1 gram per deciliter, then the cause of acetes could be nephrotic syndrome, pancreatic acids, tuberculosis, biliary leak, protein losing entropathy, serositis, malnutrition, peritoneal malignancy. If SAG is equal to or more than 1.1 gram per deciliters, then the causes can be cirrhosis, portal vein thrombosis, Bud Chiari syndrome, IVC obstruction, congestive heart failure, constrictive pericarditis, sinusoidal obstruction syndrome, massive liver metastasis, veno-occlusive disease. Further classification of high SAG. When the SAG is more than or equal to 1.1 gram per deciliter, and the total protein in the acids is less than 2.5 gram per deciliter, then, the cause of the acids is undoubtedly, cirrhosis and portal hypertension. When the SAG is more than or equal to 1.1 gram per deciliter, and the total protein is more than or equal to 2.5 gram per deciliter, then, the cause of the acetes is usually, right heart failure. Further differential diagnosis of high SAG, as discussed previously, for high SAG and low total protein levels in acidic fluid, the causes will be, cirrhosis and late Bud Chiari syndrome. For high SAG and high total protein levels in acidic fluid, the causes will be, right heart failure, early Bud Chiari syndrome and veno-occlusive disease.